Chlamydia is a very common cause of abortions, especially in goats and also in sheep. And in case of goats, we find chlamydia is also highly common. Even in sheep also, we have found that chlamydia is equally uh, there as a cause of abortions. Uh, usually the abortion occurs in the last trimester, almost similar with the brucella and stillbirth are more common. Compared to brucella, the stillbirth, stillbirth percentage is a little more in the case of chlamydia. Of course, brucella also stillbirth is present. The one important difference, you no know, differential diagnosis that I can give between brucella and chlamydia is that in brucella, the retention of placenta is very common. Whereas in chlamydia, you will not find any retention of placenta. Almost you will be getting, as you can see in this particular picture, you can see the cotyledons and the placenta, whole thing is visible along with that. This is a actually a confirmed case of chlamydia abortion that we found in the Barbary kid, in a Barbary doe that is aborted. And we confirmed it based upon the macroscopic and the uh, gross lesions and the microscopic lesions. So this chlamydia can gain access to fetus and placenta through the intestine, genital tract and conjunctiva. And large amount of chlamydia is being excreted through the placenta that can act as a source of infection for the other animals that are going through the next breeding season. And there are a lot of many tests are available. The most important test we can do is either GIMSA or modified zealine staining that can you know show you the presence of the elementary bodies. Again, chlamydia, there is a critical cycle is there, the sheep that gets infected that can lead to abortion or it can act as a source of excretion to the other sheep which is uh, susceptible to that. It can lead to abortions or stillbirth in that particular animal and that can act as a source of infection to the other sheep. If any clean sheep, uninfected sheep comes in uh, contact with this particular animal, which is a silent carrier that can again transmit the infection to the uninfected ones. This particular slide, you can see the necrotic placentitis, the focal necrotic, uh, necrotic placentitis, and you can see congestion. These are the cl classical lesions that you find in the chlamydial abortions. Even in Campylobacter also, we find similar. In Campylobacter abortions, the congestion is a little bit less, whereas the focal necrosis is slightly more. Here you can see the elementary bodies. So these are the trophoblast cells from the placenta, where you can see the uh, cellular nucleus is pushed to a particular side uh, because of the presence of the elementary bodies. These elementary bodies are infectious in nature, whereas they are non-replicating, that spreads from harboring host to a new host. These elementary bodies act as a source of infection. Once it goes into the host, it develops in the vertical body. This replicates very fast, goes to the various organs that leads to the abortion or that leads to the various clinical signs. And again, it generates the elementary body that is secreted outside and again infects the other animals. In uterus, you find another classical sign like focal granuloma or microabscesses in uterus. This is another common microscopic lesion that you find in case of chlamydiosis. In our laboratory, we have our own uh, uh, ways to identify the chlamydia, especially chlamydophila abortus is the most common form of uh, species of chlamydia or chlamydia species that is uh, present, in the, uh, present in abortions, especially causing the abortions. Uh, our labor laboratory is highly equipped with this particular technique, uh, technique wherein we can able to detect uh, any non-brucella based abortions, storms if we are getting in a particular year, we can able to detect this one.